The ideal gas law, also known as the general gas equation, states that PV equals nRT, where P is the pressure of gas measured in kilopascals, V is its volume measured in litres, N is the number of moles of gas particles, T is its temperature measured in Kelvin, and R is a constant of proportionality, equal to 8.31 joules per Kelvin per mole. Let's have a look at some consequences of this law. If the temperature and pressure of gas are held constant, then it implies its volume is directly proportional to the number of gas particles. What does this mean? Breathe in. As the muscles of your diaphragm contract, the cavities in your lungs expand and air rushes in to fill up the space. The direct proportionality means that if you double the volume of space inside your lungs, you double the number of molecules of air in them. Similarly, when you breathe out and your lungs shrink, the number of air molecules in them decreases by the same proportion. If the temperature and volume of gas are held constant, then the pressure it exerts is directly proportional to the number of gas particles. The gas particles in a container push against its inner walls, exerting an outward force. That's what's meant by pressure. If you double the number of particles, you double the push. When you pump up a tyre, you increase the number of air molecules trapped inside, and the tyre becomes rigid as the molecules push outwards against its inner walls. Let air out, and the tyre becomes flaccid, because the number of molecules pushing out against the inner walls has decreased. If the temperature and number of gas particles are held constant, the gas pressure is inversely proportional to its volume. Cover the outlet of a bike pump with your thumb and push down on the handle. As the volume inside decreases, you'll feel the pressure increase. That's because the air molecules have less space to move around in, and as they jostle around in the confined space, they collide more frequently with your thumb. Finally, if the number of gas particles remains constant and the temperature changes, then the pressure and or volume of gas change in direct proportion to the temperature. When you increase the temperature, you increase the average kinetic energy of the gas particles. They move faster and further apart. Stretch a balloon over the mouth of a bottle and put the bottle in a pot of hot water. As the air inside the bottle heats up, it expands, pushing out against the inner walls of the balloon. A pot of cold water has the opposite effect, making the balloon shrink. The general gas equation applies to an ideal gas, or one in which the size of the gas molecules is negligible, and in which there are no intermolecular forces of attraction between gas molecules. At low pressures and high temperatures, the gas law provides a good approximation of the behaviour of most real gases.